Hey guys, it's the Lord here, back in with day 21 of the 31 days of Halloween. And as promised, we are taking a look at one mean looking bitch. <laughs> Today we're taking a look at the Mythic Legion's 2.0 Advent of Decay Lucretia. She is the quote unquote leader of the uh, faction known as the Lithius Brood, which is basically all the vampires. And uh, her father is actually Baron Volagar. I forgot to mention that before. That's why they need to re-release that dude. A, so I can have it. B, so I can have it. C, because he's her daddy. So, um, yeah, I haven't mentioned in the other two videos that these uh, figures all came with the back adapters, but I'm pretty sure you knew that because I think every figure comes with the back adapters, and they're like herpes now, and they need to stop. <laughs> I have enough back adapters for Horsemen. Please stop. It's overkill. Ah! But um, this this is one mean looking SOB with one glaring issue that I hope to fix with maybe some sticky tack or something. Um, but before we get into that, she comes with a couple of extra accessories not on her person. Um, starting with the usual, the, the standard belt piece, which I actually had to grab quick. So she comes with that, it's the same belt we've seen with all the figures. Well, all the slender figures, the bigger ones come with bigger ones, obviously. She comes with this knife, which is an oldie but a goodie. It's been around for a while. Black hilt, silver blade. I'm not sure who to give that to, really. And then she comes with a... Uh, newer style knife which we've seen this with uh grisha the slitherer but this one's got uh black holster with some purple and silver accents and the blade is silver with a black hilt i believe morgolith comes with one of these too um, so hopefully this is the right one i think it is it's got the black on it anyways so i'm, I'm willing to bet i grabbed the right one out of the bag but I could very well be wrong, but that's what she comes with. Two little dinky knives. You would think the leader of the vampires would have come with a staff or something. I think that's what we need next, like a vampire mage chick. Or dude. There's like zilch for dudes in this action. Actually, I think there are more dudes than ladies, come to think of it. But her other accessory, which was pretty much unique to her and i think malachi shinderhorn was this awesome looking sword which i believe comes with uh what's her name melina the evil lynn type character and it's got a black hilt silver blade really dope looking it's the weapon i display lucretia with um if she came with anything else i obviously don't remember what that is so Oh, she comes with this cape, too, which... This cape was actually not a pain in the butt. The only thing that is a pain in the butt, and you're probably noticing it, is this collar. Which pegs out nowhere. Um, in Four Horsemen's defense, it was actually glued on. To... Her chest. But you might be able to see the residue of the glue. You might not. I'm pretty sure I didn't peel any paint off. It came off, but you can see that little purple triangle bit there. That's where it was glued on. It was not glued on the back, where it probably would have been just fine and dandy. Or, you know, peg into the back like the rest of the collars in the line. I don't know. I think it's kind of stupid it didn't peg in and it was just held on by literally a little tit of glue. Makes me wish they'd uh, redo the torso and this collar piece if they were to re-release this figure. Um, this needs a peg on it because that little tit of glue, obviously, it didn't last long. I was just trying to peg the shoulder pads in. And my thumb went up and it pulled it right off. So I know other people who have had the same problem or uh, 
you know, it was just not glued in the package. So that's pretty shitty. Um, not going to lie, because this is a cool looking piece, but it's literally just held on by one tit of glue right there. I'm going to try and see if I can get it to permanently sit back here somehow, because I think pinned back there is like the best option for it because it's just not it's not going to stay on otherwise but we're going to leave that off for you know at least until the size comparison just so you can see some of the details on the figure because just look at it she's got some purple accent she's got a purple loincloth there nice long black cape and when i say long this is really long it goes past her feet i don't think a lot of the capes do that in this line um, she's got the shoulder pads, which go up and down, obviously. They're pretty easy to move. Um, pretty much the Vampire Knight with the Legion Builder's torso. It's, it's the same figure. Um, yeah, she comes with the neck that the Vampire Knight has originally, too. It's the same neck piece, but I obviously didn't have it on that figure for the review because it was on her. Look at that head sculpt. That's a mean looking bitch. <laughs> it's one tough broad. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. She's even got the little earrings. She had some schmutz on her head, but I managed to cut that off. Maybe a little darker spot on there, but that's not so bad. Um, but yeah, that freaking collar, though, that's a damn shame because that's a cool looking piece. And for it to just flop around like that. I almost want to put it on a bulkier figure because their neck's big enough. It'll probably wedge it into place. But no, I try to. What I try to do with this is I lift the shoulder pads up, and it'll it'll at least maintain a position when she's standing straight up and down. So we should be good for the rest of the review. But it's it's not. It's it's not staying in place. It just ain't. It's not going to stay in place if I pick it up and move it around. It, it, that's over. <laughs> it needs something to hold it in in the back. And it just doesn't have that. And that's stupid. Because the freaking collar pieces to the big figures. It's like they could just be held down by their necks if you wanted to. Pretty sure that's how some of them are positioned but yeah i mean this is a damn shame because this is a cool looking collar piece and it just flops around so hopefully i'll find a way to fix that i don't think a clear elastic's gonna do the job either that's what i was gonna th i was thinking about something like that but it's not gonna work uh, there's no uh, little tab or anything for me to wrap it around in the back so I can have it go around that and then down around the shoulder pads and then peg the shoulder pads in. That's the thing. It needed to be like something you pegged in through the shoulder pads maybe just to get it to sit, to stay put even. Well, luckily, the, moving the shoulder pads up a bit it keeps it forward so it doesn't just fall back when she's standing straight up. Uh, it can still fall back, but it's not going to unless you, you know, tap it. So, it's, it's a damn shame, but it's something I can probably fix. And when I do fix it, I'll let you know. Um, I, I honestly don't know what to do, though. That, that's something for all you customizers. You probably just add some little strip of Sculpey on the back of the neck and then just attach the collar to it. But I, I like the silhouette it has. It's a very nice looking uh, collar piece. It just needs to stay put. But with that being said, it is now time for the, you know, standard size comparison. Somebody's weed whacking outside. It's like, knock it off. I'm doing a video. 
Isn't that what everyone says when they're recording and someone starts doing that? It's like, I'm recording. Knock it off. It's like, they don't care. Um, here she is next to Jack O'Lenton. Hopefully he won't lose his head today. About the same. I mean, he looks a lot taller than these dudes, but he's probably sitting forward a bit. And then just to get it out of the way. Here he is next. She. Here she is next to the Legion Builder. Come on. Some of these things don't want to stand. There she is next to her. You know what? We'll move these over. And these are all from Advent of Decay, of course. Obviously, the same faction, too. And here she is next to Vampire Knight. And they look really cool together. It's just this broad in the middle of stupid collar popped off. So I'll find a way to get that back on so it stops popping off jeez but nonetheless you know they look great together all the colors mesh well they're literally like the same height this one here though has a bit of a cock forward I don't know what the deal with that is I don't know if that helped at all yeah, that helped a little bit but, uh, yeah. So I'm obviously going to recommend this figure, but you need to be careful with this collar piece. Uh, it likes to pop off. <laughs> and literally with zilch effort, too. So it's it's not the best thing ever. But other than that, this figure is really awesome, and I'd highly recommend it to anyone who likes vampires and stuff like that. So with that being said, I'm going to get her in the middle here. Yeah, close enough. Hope you enjoyed today's edition of the 31 Days of Halloween. Stay tuned, because tomorrow we're going to be taking a step back and looking at an All-Stars figure. Well, actually, a step forward and looking at an All-Stars figure. And that, of course, is going to be Carpathias. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, catch you guys later with Day 22? I'm going to say Day 22. Of the 31 days of Halloween. Woo! Scary! <laughs> More like, woo! Tough looking broad with a sucky collar! Yeah, well, we'll go with that. <laughs>